Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Bloodborne. Uh, so in our last episode, we pretty much uh, crushed Vicar Amelia, and man, that was, uh, oh boy, I didn't expect it to be that easy. But anyway, so, um, today we're going to be heading down, uh, nope, not here. Let's see. Uh, here we go. So, today we're going to be heading down the, um, the path that was, uh, that's barred by, uh, that, the, the crazy guy that is asking for the password. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's just taking a little sip of my soda there. Uh, but yeah, so, uh gonna be heading down there today which will take us into the um, forbidden woods uh, as you can see I have the uh, tinnitus today uh, I figured I'd just like uh, give it a few little swings and whatnot um, I upgraded it to rank yeah it's currently a rank 2 so it's nowhere near as powerful as uh, my current weapons, but as we progress through the game, I'm pretty sure I'll get the um, materials I require. Besides, it's fast enough to make short work of these clowns. Works for me. Oh! Ooh! Ow, you bastard! And I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Curse you, frenzy! Oh well. Well, at least you get to see um what happens when that meter builds up, right? <laughs> I hate that mechanic so much. It sucks. Alright. Guess I'm just gonna have to pound them into oblivion. Do -do I'll take those. Thank you very much. Alright, you. Wow, you track hard, don't you? All the tracking in the world ain't gonna save you there. Wow. Wow. Screw you. Wow. I hate that mechanic. Granted, of course, the only reason it went up so fast and it kept going from just a little touch was because I have 15 in insight. Hey, right, you. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, that feels so good. Alright. It's just yeah wa YouTube bye all right so if I recall the way we gotta go oh did I miss an item here no oh, I thought I missed an item ah well anyway so um we just need to go this way over here first things first Man, that feels good. All right. Yes. You stay out of this. As for you. Ah. I wanted to do the transformation attack. Oh, well. Regained my health, though. That's right. Keep showering me in bullets. All right. So, now this should be the, uh, no, actually this takes us, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, which way am I supposed to go to get to those stupid stairs? Um, hang on, uh, I gotta think now, um, 
me see. It's not down that way. Uh, I know it's supposed to be like past the cathedral, I think. Um, is it that way? Yeah, it's that way. I love this thing. All right. <sighs> I need something really fast. Actually, I should have switched over to this, is what I should have switched over. Hello. There we go. Yeah, you thought I forgot about you? Huh. Anyway, but yeah, it's just where we're supposed to go. Alright. Ah! There's Alfred. The heck is that sound? I heard someone smashing on a door. <gasps> oh well. Yeah, what's that sound? Oh, right. That's the um. Oh wow, I didn't think you could see it from here. Yeah, that's the street right there where the prostitute and the suspicious man live. Which means that that bumping we're hearing is that person smashing his head against the wall. Or, sorry, flailing himself with his, uh, with clearly a whip. Hello, Alfred. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth, and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. And that's his quest line. Um, and uh, pretty much his quest line is actually very easy and it kind of requires our assistance. As a matter of fact, we'll soon be gaining access to Canehurst Castle. Very soon, actually. Um, so we might go there before we proceed onward with the game. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Alright. But yeah, um, I think I might go to Canehurst Castle next. Man, look at that. As a matter of fact, I think that's Canehurst over there. Uh... Hmm... No, no, I think that's still part of Yarnum. Um... Ah, there it is. That's Kanehurst Castle. It's interesting that it's so close and yet impossibly far. Because it's virtually impossible to reach by foot. You'll understand soon. Uh, you'll understand, um... You'll understand once we actually go there. Why it's basically impossible to get there. Alright. Uh... I never really checked this place out to see if there's any items. Eh, I don't see anything. Alright. <sighs> the password. Hmm. He's dead, Jim! He's dead! <laughs> Took a skull. Wow. Wow, that is, uh... 
That is some ugly textures if I ever saw any. I guess that's why you're not supposed to look that close. <laughs> From far away, that looks like a relatively nice proper skull. But up close, oh boy. Then again, I think it... Mm... Let me see. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's why it looks the way it does. His uh, skin hasn't completely decomposed. That's why it looks as uh, hideous as it does. Because if it had decomposed, you'd see more... Uh, well, for one, basically, his uh, fingers wouldn't be there anymore. Because, you see, uh, the human skeleton, it's not all one solid piece. The way it works is that it's held together by muscles and tendons. So, essentially, if you take all that away, uh, your, body, your, your bones would have no support and they would just fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the reason why um, an anime skeleton, you know, skeletons that you would see in a biology class and stuff, they're held together by strings and wires because there's literally no way they'd be able to support themselves. That's why muscles and tendons exist. <laughs> that's your uh, biology fact for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anyway, here we are, the Forbidden Woods. Oh boy, this place. It's not as terrible as you think it is. As a matter of fact, it's actually pretty easy to traverse. All you have to do is just follow the path. It's literally that simple. You know, the issue is, is just all the enemies and the traps and the ball of uh, gross, disgusting snakes. You know, normal stuff. Alright. If I recall, there's like a... I think there's like a nasty trap around here somewhere. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you could have jumped down from up there, but, uh... Right. Yep. There he is. Alright. Okay, so we just come over here, and there's an item. Yep. Ooh, twin shards. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be your twin shard mecha. This is where you start finding a ton of them. There he is. Get wrecked. Oh wow, you're still alive. There we go. Don't worry, I, I took care of that for you. And thank you for taking care of me. Okay. No. You. No. He's throwing oil urns at you. See, the whole point is that basically... His whole job is to basically... Um, douse you in oil urns so that basically when that guy hits you with the uh, with the torch, it does even more fire damage. Uh, nothing here. Alright. Let's see. I think there's actually one of those stupid Jarl Unseen Hunters up here. I think. I don't remember. Yep. Thank you, memory. Of course I'm in an... This, you know, horrible... There we go. That, wow. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that twice. Okay. Alright. Don't touch the fire. Ooh, hello. Mm, I th I don't know. I'm pretty sure there was like a wandering madness around here, but eh, whatever. It's fine. I'm not gonna go crazy trying to hunt those things just because. Well, for one, they're putting they're purposely placed in horrible, unfriendly situations that are just gonna get you killed. And two, honestly, if you really want upgrade items that bad, just hunt the wolves and the dogs. Uh, they drop they they drop fa a fair amount of items like the do uh, the dogs in that um, area before Hemworth Charnel Lane they um, they drop tw uh, if you um, what is it if you farm them enough they'll drop twin shards for you and the wolves which you can find freaking everywhere will drop you um, you know the the solitary shard you know the the single shards so you don't need the wandering madness 
to uh, deal with, uh, sorry, the Wandering Nightmare to deal with the, um, you know, to basically get uh, upgrade items. Uh, I mean, the only the only time I guess that would be relatively untrue is if you want to get chunks, because chunks are so rare. It's like they're it's like pulling teeth. Ah, here we go. This is the lantern of the area. All right, so uh, this door will not open for a good, good long time. Whoop! Sounded like a crow. Two crows. Not to worry. There we go. Yeah, I know. I can't carry pebbles at this point. Speaking of which... Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, you'd want to have those equipped too. Just saying. Oh, I can break that? Cool. Didn't know I could do that. Alright. <sighs> hmm. What a friendly bunch of idiots, wouldn't you say? I only did that so I could get one of the pebbles. <laughs> Wait, he dropped two pebbles? Huh. Hang on. Oh my goodness, he dropped two pebbles. That's funny. Alright. You. It's the end of you. Thank you. Alright. Alright, now... Don't just go running across. Use your eyes. Or in this case, your monocular. Look at that. Look at that. That's not natural. That's not natural at all. It looks natural if you're not paying attention, but when you really look at it, come on. Plain as day. And that right there? Who just leaves good lumber right there like that? Come on. Let's be honest. Let's not uh, let's not make it too easy for them, shall we? All right. Also, all right there it goes. Get all the way over here, cause it does that, and then it just vanishes. It's just gone. <laughs> Now, if you're pretty good, you can actually get them to get caught up in it. Now, they won't be able to trigger it, unfortunately. No matter how hard you try, they can't trigger it. But you can get them to hit it. But you can get the damn thing to hit them. All right, by this point, this is when we're going to be facing the balls of snakes, if I recall. Which is fine, because they're particularly vulnerable to this weapon. Ooh, tier six. That's not bad. Alright, let's see. So by this point, this is where things can get a little confusing. More or less. Come here, stupid. Come on. Come on. Fine. Ow! What the hell is that? Okay, why am I not stunning him? I'm literally hitting him with a flail the size of my head. Why am I not stunning him? I mean, really, the hell? Alright. Uh... Okay, so you can come from up here and jump down on him, which I would recommend, honestly. Well, actually, no, you don't want to. What you want to do is actually jump down on them. There we go. Uh-oh. And he killed me. Ah, <sighs> uh, there was another one over there. 
I had 19 grand. Oh, wow. I definitely want those back. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, this area is kind of annoying. <laughs> Just flat out. <sighs> Uh, these loading screens. Anyway, uh, let me just check something real quick. Um, derb Ooh. <sighs> okay. Uh, we'll just switch over to this for a little while now. Uh, yeah. I've been overusing the tinnitus. So, oh, right, right, you guys. There we go. Next. Hmm? Where's the other one? Oh, there you are. There we go. Never leave a bird behind. All right, come on, you. My axe is better. There we go. And yes, the trap resets. Yeah, look at that. See? It just vanished. <laughs> it just went whoosh, gone. Alright. There we go. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Uh, of course I would lose it. Of course I would lose it! Because... <sighs> Damn it! That was 19 grand! <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> That's upsetting. That is really upsetting. I hate it when I lose that much. I hate those dogs. I just hate dogs. They suck in these games. They do nothing more than just straight up stun lock you. That is literally what they're for. They do nothing more than stun your character. Which then leaves other enemies open up to basically do whatever they want. Like, the developers knew what they were doing when they got those stupid animals put in those situations. Peeves me off so much. Way to go, dead eye. Come on, stupid. There we go. Man, I love this thing. Wow, I missed. There we go. Bullets. Thank you. Alright. Never gonna get tired of that. <laughs> anyway, all right. I guess this time I'm just gonna have to be more tactful. Despite the fact that there's really no tact to any of this, all you do is just smash them. Oh well. Because I figured dropping in on them would be much better than, um, you know going right into their teeth, but I'm guessing this is probably smarter. Oh, great. It's a shield guy? I don't want to. I don't want you. Come on. I'd rather get you. There we go. Are you kidding me? I hate you. Fine. Let's go for a spin. Alright. Yeah, that's all he's gonna do. Just throw oil urns. Come on. <laughs> you stupid. I should have done that in the first place. 
Wow. Way to go, AI. Ten points. Alright, you. Alright, I can't reach them from up there, that's why. Yeah, well, at least with the dogs out of the way. I got free reign here. And that's all he's gonna do, just throw oil urns. Uh, so tired of you guys. Alright, give me a blood butt. There we go. Alright, looks like you can reach them from here. I didn't think you could, given the angle. It's pretty steep. There we go. Blood vial. Ooh, twins. What do we got here? Ooh, damn, ten bullets. Hmm. Alright, uh... Hey, okay, let's switch over to the Kirk Hammer and just have some fun with this for a little while. Alright, what's down over here? Ah, oh, what do you know? you all right now that doesn't count for me going crazy against that thing I just literally ran across it on happenstance so why not kill it right and all that was protecting it was crows so I had nothing to fear all right so what's up here okay Ow. Ow. That hurt. Alright. You get the business end. There we go. My blood vial. I earned it. Alright, so that's that way. And he came out of here. Mm, I don't see nothing here, so... Ah, beast pellets. I hate that drop. It's useless to me. I mean, I could probably sell it, but I don't think it would be for much. Hmm. Alright, so... That's that way. And that probably takes us around. Okay. So, let's finish looking over here, I suppose. It's over here. Ooh. Ah! We'll be getting the tonsil stone here. Alright, let me just check what's over here real quick. I mean, I, uh, I'm pretty... Ow! Owie, that hurt a teeny bit. Alright. Yeah, so this... Yep. Yeah, this is the... This, is a, this was a trap to just get you to... Get, like, essentially, like, you know, we're right behind the gate, but the issue is, is that now we're, like, really in the thick of it. Uh, I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so you don't want to fall down there. Like, that is literally a trap. Alright, so we got him and that guy. Let's go over here. There we go. Let's get him. What good friends he has. Yeah, the whole point is that basically they want you to just fall down that pit where there's a bunch of crows.
Wow, he died in one hit. Well, I guess he was the shield guy. There we go. See any of you. Whoa. Oh no. Ow, no. No. Okay. Whew. Antidotes. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we just climb back up. <laughs> Goodness, physics. Oh my goodness. Alright, so where's... Alright, there's those guys. Where's the schmuck that made me fall? Ah, he must be a... Uh, yep, there you are. Get wrecked. Take those. You. There we go. Thank you. All right, now where's that? I was right over here, right? Where the, all those guys were inside. Yep. Wow, you're an idiot. How did you not notice me? I ran right in front of you. Whatever. Okay. Eh. Yep, and there you are. We're right behind that gate. Oh, hello. Get wrecked. Too bad you didn't get hot. <sighs> Too bad you didn't get up fast enough. Could have saved your friend. Could have made me. It could have made my life way worse, but you didn't. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, yep. As you can see, another trap. So that's why you want to go around that gate. You don't want to go right through it. All right. Okay, we're doing good so far. Only one significant death. That's not too bad. It's actually pretty damn good. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't see anything in this house. I'm guessing this is just a little hidey hole. More beast pellets. I hate those things. Alright. Now don't be too confident even after you wipe out everyone because this particular area sucks. There are dogs all over this place. It's funny that you can break everything inside the damn house but you can't break the door down. Yeah, see what I mean? Uh, yep, so that's your progression. We'll forget about that for now. Okay. What's over here? Okay. Yeah, sorry I keep uh, doing this. It's just a force of habit. It's kind of like how some people, they play around with their shield in, um, you know, in Dark Souls. Like, they just do that ridiculous, uh, you know, raising it, lowering it, raising it, lowering it kind of thing. Like, I'm the same way with this weapon. Just because I love the smooth action of it. It's so buttery smooth. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, you trigger that, boom, comes back. Uh, fortunately, that one doesn't fall off its thing, but it does do this. It breaks. That one was shoddily made. Alright, so... Here. Alright, so... Right there, that's gonna, that's the NPC we want. Okay. It's interesting that we can't see the NPC here. You think we could? Like, even if you did this, see? 
Like, it's funny. The camera cannot clip through here. But anyway, uh, you do want to talk to this one. Oh, I'm a beast, are you? Glory be. You know not the value you possess. But more's the pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beasts more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. <laughs> A most frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> Not even death offers solace. Seek you the ancient shrouded church, hidden to the right of the main cathedral. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Okay. Ah, <sighs> uh, let's see. I think that's least. Um. A laced, deformed rock, or perhaps a meteorite. Appears useless, but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul, one said. Step, light, step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the godhead will grant you strength. So, yeah. This is the item we need if we want to get to the Nightmare Frontier. Well, at least the optional one. Okay. Kill them. Kill them fast. Kill them now because they will get out. There we go. I'm not kidding you. These ones will get out. Alright, so now we go over here. This is the reason why they gave you, um, antidotes. Uh, don't jump down there. That'll kill you. But yes, we want to go this way, though. This is a very, very important shortcut. Uh, I wouldn't waste your time with those guys, to be honest. Alright, so, where I want to go... That direction, if I recall. Now, there's items around here and whatnot, but, um... I Probably won't. I don't know. Let me see. Anyway. Now the worms are definitely not worth fighting. I promise you that. <sighs> For that very reason. The worms suck. They are the worst enemy in this entire freaking game. Anyway. Now, slow poison isn't anywhere near as bad as rapid poison, so it's fine if you're poisoned. Um, I think most of these blood gems are going to be, like, poison-related. Alright, so that's the way we want to go, but like I said, I do want to... Yep. There we go. I wanted that for sure. All right. Now, those guys are just as slow as the idiots back at the church, so they are of no threat to you whatsoever. Alright, I think that's every single item. Like, it's pretty much, like, all the items are, like, in a so. Oh, wait, no, there's one more right there. Yeah, whenever you see, like, dirty blood gem or stuff like that, it usually means poison. Uh, yep, I'm pretty sure I got every single item. If not, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. 
Uh, yep, and then this is another way around, as you can see. Takes us right back over here, so if we missed that item, we could have gotten it. Anyway, now we're just going to go up this way. And we're going to climb up. And up. And up. And up. And up. And up. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and here we finally are. For the love of all that is good, do not fall down there. Oh, what do you know? Another ladder. Ooh, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, the topography is changing right now. Well, actually, I, I don't think this qualifies as topography, but the scenery is definitely different. Do you know where we are? Oh, we never read the number one. Hunter's sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes the imbibe they imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence indeed gratitude for their victims and then number seven doesn't really say anything yeah number seven just says the same thing all right now and voila remember that gate we couldn't open at the very beginning of the game Ta-da! Hmm? The hell's that sound? Oh, that's the... Uh, yeah, that guy's over there on that side. Anyway. And now we can just go... And then we can go this way to reach another secret location. But this is all the time I have for now. In the next episode, we will continue onward in this direction. And we will... be. Uh, we will then be... In a very peculiar location but until that time though this is mega wizard 79 bidding you all adieu